Okay, we're working on a uh, five door freezer. I come up here, I look at the sight glass, the sight glass is full with no bubbles. Okay, I look at my pressures. We have four on the low side and 250 on the high side. If I come over here, today's 60 at 30, so 90 degrees. 404A, we should be running at 204 pounds, so anywhere from 108 to 204 is what I'm going to see, 180 to 204, and all I got to do is take the temperature of the day at 30, go to my pressure relationship chart, find the temperature, which would be, and then find the gas I'm using, so I'm going to, so that just gets me in the ballpark. So roughly, so I'm running high head by about 50 pounds high head, low suction, no bubbles in the sight glass. So I come over here and I find out what my road and lo running load amps are. My running load amps for this compressor is 11.9. I'm running at 6.5, okay? So now, what the problem is here is I'm running at seven, uh, seven uh, degrees in the box and we should be running at minus five to minus 15. So I go over here and this is my headmaster. My headmaster, what it does is its job is to keep the head around 180. And uh, when those things fail, you can touch the, the, temp the pipes here coming out of the condenser is cool, going in is nice and hot, and that's what it's supposed to be. So the headmaster is working properly. Our fans are running at the right speed, they're turning in the right direction. Our, our condenser coil is clean and nothing obstructing it. So given all these details, there, what would you do here? Well, my opinion, my suction's real low and my head's real high, and I can't find anything else running uh, incorrect. So now what I'm going to have to look at is my expansion valve. My expansion valve, so what I have to do is put a thermometer at the expansion valve, inside at the evaporator, take the temperature, come up here, take um, four pounds of pressure, convert that into temperature, which I'll tell you right now that's running in a minus. So we find 404A, we find it's running about five pounds, so even if we go seven, we're running minus 35, so minus 35 and whatever the uh, temperature is at the bulb, and I sh I'm looking for a superheat of 10. It, probably we've lost our our uh, our uh, power element on the expansion valve. So what we do is, is we go downstairs after we put our thermometer under and we take our readings and find out what our superheat is. We're going to make a quarter of a turn on the expansion valve. Wait 15 minutes and take the vital signs again. Okay, I should have 10 degrees superheat, which I don't. I have minus 28 superheat. So uh, what I did was I uh, took the cap off the uh, expansion valve, I turned it clockwise a quarter of a turn. Now I'm waiting 15 minutes for the vital signs to settle, and then I'll take my vital signs again. And um, if it doesn't make a change, I will change that power head. Okay, I made a tour, uh, quarter of a turn down there, sped you well, nothing's changed. It's not much of anything, so we're going to turn it another quarter of an inch clockwise. And uh, if we don't get any change, then we're going to deem that uh, power head is uh, void and replace it. So we're going to go back downstairs. We have five pounds of pressure up here on the suction side. Let's go see what our temperature is at the expansion valve at the bulb. Okay, I get downstairs and... Uh, Reading 10.7 at the expansion valve. So, what's it gonna be? 
paper. We write down 11 degrees for temperature at the suction at the expansion valve. And then, so we got 11 temp at the expansion valve. Now, we want to go on our pressure relationship chart and we want to find 5 pounds because that's what we're running on the suction. Right there. So minus 40. Minus 40. So we're at... Okay. So I minus the suction pressure temperature which is minus 40. And then my temperature inside here. My, see I got the thermometer right here at a wire. And that's that's actually the sensing bulb right there. It comes down and goes to the power head. So I'm taking the temperature right at that bulb. And um, so we need to make an adjustment. Wait 15 minutes. put it on there like this and we're going to make a quarter of a turn and that's it then we're going to wait 15 minutes to take the vital signs again okay we adjusted this thing two quarters of a turn nothing changed so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back where it was all right I changed the power head element and guess what, it wasn't the power head element, it was the whole TXV, so I had to change the whole TXV valve out and everything went back to normal. So it was a bad TXV valve, 